You see the NATO people? Yeah. Take a look at the, this. This is the NATO big meeting. Look at these shitheads that are running our life. No need for NATO. I am an American. You f***ing European pit pricks. And I can't say the other word, Queenie. You've been f***ing killing each other for centuries. And it keeps on going. Look at this looking f***ing clown show. It's theater. It's nothing more than theater. And these are the people that are running our f***ing lives. I, Gerald Salenti, am an American. No need for NATO. Calm down, Salenti. Be a clown and suck up. Hey, how about the picture on the front page of Wall Street Journal? Five dollars. Five dollars a day to see this shit. There he is at Windsor. Biden gets royal welcome. Look at all these f clowns dressed up in that f drag. Look at this shit. Oh, we're, we're royal. Biden gets a royal welcome. Biden doesn't piss her shit, and neither does the, the Prince Charles. Oh, no, now he's the king. Yeah. Here, king. Here, boy. Sit. Give me a paw. Look at this f crap. Oh, and the big news? The big news that's not making any of the... Here. These are the headlines on Yahoo. I asked AI what Europeans think about Americans. How about what's going on in Ukraine? How about CNN, the Cartoon News Network? Department of Justice says Trump shouldn't have immunity to lawsuit. And it's other stupid thing. And there's an article down there about Biden getting Sweden into NATO. Nothing about the big part of the news. NATO said to Ukraine, can't join when conditions are met. Look at these people. Look at this. Look at this clown show. This guy, this arrogant Stoltenberg, who's the uh, head of the Secretary General of the Secretary General of the EU. I'm a Secretary General. I'll tell you what to do. Hey, I'm the governor. Close down your business. No, I'm arrogant. Bill de Blasio. No, Warren Wilhelm Jr. I'm the mayor of New York. I'm a who never worked a day in my life. Been sucking off the public. Close down your business. These are the shitheads that are ruining our lives and taking us to war. So the Stoltenberg said they're not going to bring uh, Ukraine into NATO. I think all allies agree that when the war is going on, that's not the time for making Ukraine the full member of our alliance. We also made clear that we will issue an invitation to Ukraine to join NATO when allies agree and the conditions are met. Stoltenberg! So they're not bringing Ukraine into the NATO because if NATO, they come in, then all the NATO got to go to war with Russia, which they already are. That would just make it official. And so uh, Zelensky said that it's absurd that this happened. It's absurd, he said. So Zelensky said it's absurd. It must be. So here's the deal. They bring NATO in. This is what the f war is about. Once upon a time, not too long ago, there was a guy by the name of Mikhail Gorbachev who was running the Soviet Union. He broke up the Soviet Union and the deal he made between the United States and NATO when he broke it up and pulled the troops out of Eastern Europe was that NATO would not move one inch further. There were 16 NATO countries. Now there were 30. They bring Ukraine in. Th this war is going to keep on going. And we are on the verge of nuclear annihilation. Have a nice day. Ukraine's future is in NATO, Stoltenberg said. We fully support Ukraine's right to choose its own security arrangements. Ukraine's future is in NATO, huh? Yep. So the future of the world is at war. Again, the f Europeans. What's your favorite f war? World War II? No, I like World War I. Yeah, how about the Prussian War? All these f wars going on for centuries. Oh, and Napoleon left uh, uh, Poland with 420,000 troops in 1812 to attack Moscow. Came back with 10,000. And it goes on. It goes on. This is disgusting. It's unprecedented and absurd when a time frame is not set neither for the invitation nor for Ukraine's membership. 
while at the same time vague wording about conditions is added even for inviting Ukraine Zelensky wrote and on the economic front the economic overview the economic update we detail what's going on and now one after another they're talking about the office building bust top trends 2023 office building bust commercial real estate values are crash in key us cities remote work bites office building secondary economy remote work is spreading throughout the economy why so few empty offices will be converted into apartments again we all the details here all the details and again what's going on bankruptcies are going through the roof we are on the verge of a economic collapse so here's the deal the fed says they're going to raise interest rates two more times the ecb is expected to raise them too so they meet in july they raise them in the us they're going to be coming one more time right that's the beginning of the death of the dollar the lower interest rates fall the weaker the dollar goes and the higher gold prices go oh and by the way oil prices brent crude it's back to almost 80 dollars a barrel now That means inflation is going to go back up in a lot of different ways. And inflation's here to stay. When you look at oh the prices are coming down, the inflation is going down. The prices of houses aren't going down, they're going back up. An automobile cuz almost $50,000 to buy. Hotel prices going up. Motel prices going up. A bunch of food commodity prices going up. Oh, they're going to come down a little bit, but they're still way high. So now that as they raise interest rates the economy goes down more. So again it's going to be eased throughout the summer time. We don't see the markets crashing during the summer minus a wild card like a nuclear war or Israel ramping up the wars in the Middle East as more and more people keep taking to the streets and protesting what's going on over there. They just passed one of the parts of the Judicial Reform Act bringing more people out closing down one of the airports. So when all else fails they take it off. If Israel goes to war with Iran, you're going to see oil prices go to above $130 a barrel and that's going to crash the global economy and the equity markets. Ukraine counteroffensive contracting, Russian capabilities underestimated. Don't count on the counteroffensive. We warned you about this. We said it was a lot of bullshit and now they're playing it down. Well, we really didn't start it, but now we're going to start it sometime and let you know when. And again, sending these cluster bombs is a cluster. F and that's what we have, a bunch of cluster f that are fucking our lives up. You know, they again showing you the crap. This is a front page of the Wall Street Journal. Look at this. 100 days. This guy uh who's a Russian correspondent for the Wall Street Journal that was locked up, they call him a spy. This paper here. Look. All right? How about Assange? How come you're not writing about Assange? He's only been in jail since 2019 and been locked up in that in one of the embassies that he was in El Salvador for what, about 10 years or something. How about Snowden? Nah, f them. What hip what hypocrisy? What hypocrisy? Assange didn't do anything. All he did was report stuff. And his life ruined. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.